quarter town called Starot, whose closest point being only about 800 meters uh, to the uh, border of northern Gaza. So standing here from time to time, you can hear the warplanes flying overhead. And seconds later, you will hear the bombings echoing in this area and also seeing the black smoke rising from the ground. So that side is the Gaza Strip. And so far, if we zoom in, we can see the smoke rising from the ground. That's the uh, bombs uh, just thrown by the war, Israeli uh, warplane. And actually, as we know, since uh, Friday evening, Israel uh, has expanded its ground incursion into the Gaza Strip. And Saturday night, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced that the military has opened the second stage in war against the Hamas. And Gaza residents, as we have uh, learned from all the international media, that uh, they described the bombardment as the most intense since the war started and which knocked out the most of telecommunications and cut off largely 2.3 million Gazan people from outside the world. And the latest news is that uh, Sunday morning, uh, the telecom company said that uh, the communications have been resumed to many Gaza residents, but from our side, we cannot verify that, that to what extent has the to what extent has the telecommunications been resumed so far. And in the meantime, it's worth mentioning that uh, Israel said that it will allow more humanitarian aid to enter uh, Gaza, uh, southern Gaza via Egypt, uh, and they hope that the additional food, water, and medical supplies will encourage more people to leave northern Gaza for the south. But in the meantime, IDF stressed that it will not allow fuel to enter Gaza because IDF said that the fuel will not go to uh, people, will not go to civilians, but be used by the Hamas militants as its own supplies to fight against Israel.